How's it on YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Joe the Geek. Welcome back to Triple G Comics. So today we've got a 1-6 scale Cajun card dealer. It's called Cajun Card Dealer because so so toys don't have the official Marvel license for Gambit. But this is Gambit, let's be honest. Okie dokie. So this is Gambit. Um, not a character I'm particularly fond of, I have to be honest, from the X-Men kind of stable. However, this figure is beautiful from what I've seen of it. So I'm absolutely Champing at the bit to get into it and see what he looks like. So, box is a box, you know, it's the usual stuff. Got a nice image on the front there of, of the man himself with his traditional throne cards. Side art, not a lot to say there really. You've got usual gubbins on the back. And then again, the same. So, nothing particularly exciting there. Right, let's get him out. So, when you open him up there, you've got this quite stunning um, artwork on the sleeve. Quite like that, looks quite cool. Um, Batman in the background there, don't know what's going on there. Anyway, looks quite nice. Ooh, he looks lush. Now I have him, ladies and gents. He looks absolutely tremendous. Um, I'm going to get all of these bits and bobs out, all of these um, accessories and things, put them out in the light box, and we'll have a closer look. Okay, guys, so before we get into the full review, I'm looking at say it straight off the belt. This thing is amazing. And I know, if you watch me toy videos, who am I kidding? No one watches me toy videos. If you do watch me toy videos, um, I say this pretty much every time, this is probably my favourite figure. This is probably my favourite figure. It's absolutely stunning, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, what accessories do you get with Gambit? First of all, as you can see in the back there, you get your traditional stand. I would say so-so stands are really nice. I like the kind of the metal effect they've got on them there with the silver um, X logo in the middle. Uh, it, it's just, a, it's a nice stand. You get <laughs> some hair. So as you can see here, you get some additional hair for him. Um, so he's got different, I don't know, spiky, blowy in the windy type hair. Um, so you can change that if you so desire. Um, I'll play around with that later on. You get Gambit's traditional bow staff. Looks quite nice. This plastic. Um, if I was being really picky, I would say it would have been nice to have had that is a die cast staff, but what the hell, it looks nice. It's a, a nice bow staff. You get a whole host of hands, different styles, different th throne types, fists and things like that. Open palms, the detail on these is really nice. You get a lot of them um, with his fingers apart, so you can slot the cards in there. Anybody that knows Gambit knows X-Men, you know, he, has a, he throws his throne cards um, after he's charged them. Charging them is an interesting thing. You get loads of these. I quite like these. So these are hands with energy effects. So it's a, it's a translucent plastic to indicate that his energy powers are activated. Now, I don't normally like energy effects and all that kind of jazz. I don't know. I might be tempted to use one of these so it looks like he's charging the card or something. You get tons of them. Look at all those hands. Look at all those hands, don't they? Absolutely tons of different hand options, which is all rather nice. You get a couple of energy effects. Um... You can slot the card in there. Looks like he's charging the card or whatever. Looks quite nice. Again, you guys will know, I'm not a big fan of energy effects, so I'm not sure if I'll use that. But hey ho, it's there to be used if you wish. And I do, I do, I would say I like the colour of this. It's kind of got clear bits, which is supposed to indicate the cards, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. And then you get that kind of classic gambit throne effect. You can see his hand there. I do actually quite like that. That looks quite nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if the cards stick in that. I'll have a play with that. But actually, as you can see, there's his hand moulded in there to the energy to make it look like he's actually thrown the cards. That's nicer than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, I use it. You then get a full deck of cards, a full deck of pop out cards for you to use. That's really interesting. As you can see, one's already been popped out, and there you have the little, the little king there, um, which. Eh, and just show you as i've said can be used to kind of slot it in between his fingers so it looks like he's just about to throw a card a playing card i do like that effect that looks very very cool um can these go in there no i don't think they do i don't think they do anyway that looks really smart i like that as well okie dokie so that's all your bits and bobs that come with them let's have a look at the actual figure itself so there we have them, ladies and gents, the Raging Cajun. Um, all I would say is this figure is stunning. I love 
love the paintwork on them the jacket is beautiful i don't know what material it is but it's really nice it's also all wired so you can bend it and move it around into whatever kind of shapes you want love the collar and um, the actual costume is comic accurate it just looks fantastic good articulation on his boots and all the rest of it the costume feels raised he's got quite a six pack there hasn't he it's kind of a leathery material um oh, i just love him I love him close up of his face there guys as you can see the sculpt is beautiful the eye work is stunning as you can see his eyes look absolutely amazing i just love him so let's have a look and see what his hair looks like with the other hair piece on so that's his kind of flopped down look so there you go guys the hair just removes by a magnet so you just pull it off And then his second bonnet. Ooh, I like that as well. Ah, oh, man alive. Guys, I don't know. You're gonna have to let us know in the comments. I think, I think I prefer the, I think I prefer that. Okay then guys, so there he is, Gambit, looking amazing. Let's get him kitted out with a few different accessories and see what he looks like. There we go then guys, there's Gambit from the X-Men. That's probably how I'm gonna have him in my display. I quite like the translucent hand holding the card, showing he's charging it. Wouldn't normally go in for power effect type poses, but I quite like that one. Okay, so love the figure. Gonna get that straight out there. It's absolutely tremendous. So, so I've knocked it out of the park. It's beautiful. A um, Couple of things. I mentioned that the, the coat was wired. I'm not sure it is. I think it's just quite stiff kind of material. I'm not sure. The costume itself, is absolutely beautiful. The detail on it is superb. The chest work is superb. It's a pig to pose, but it's quite tight on him. Um, so you don't get a lot of articulation on his body and his movement and all the rest of it. So that's a little bit, a bit challenging. Common issue with so so toys that I've heard some of my um, one sixth brethren talking about. So for example, Ben the Attention Seeking Greek. Greek? <laughs> I don't think he's Greek. Um, the Television Seeking Geek, go and check out his channel. Um, a lot of people have talked about these so so toys and their um, pegs, so the, the pegs that the hands go into. Never experienced it myself until this figure. This was an absolute bastard. Um, trying to get the hands changed was an absolute nightmare. These ones I've got in there at the moment are not secure at all. Um, I'm going to have to try a hairdryer or hot water or something to get the pegs in. Um, it's been nigh on impossible to get get the hands in this effect piece i will have to have a look on tinternet i can't for the life of this figure out where this goes or what it's meant to do or, or uh, how it ports in or, or what and um, it's probably go over his arm or something like that and show the, the card effect i'm not sure i wouldn't be using it anyway to be fair this effect i did quite like it looked quite smart again i had an absolute nightmare trying to peg the hand in um so i kind of ended up just bouncing it it does look nice but that's not really the effect I'm going for in my display. I just want Gambit as he is there, along with my Cyclops and my Wolverine, etc. So, overall impressions on this figure. For the price point, it's amazing. Um, I'm not sure Hot Toys are ever going to do a version of Gambit like this. So for me, this was a must-buy, really, um, just because I love the costume. Not a massive fan of the character, like I said, but the costume jumps okay ladies and gents let us know what you think of this figure let us know if you've had any issues with so so toys in terms of the hands and whatnot and um, thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you next time take care